In just over a decade, one Chinese company has reshaped the very core of the global energy market. Once, batteries were a bottleneck, expensive, inefficient, and considered a luxury component in electric cars and renewable storage systems. But today, thanks to a company called CATL, Contemporary Amperex Technology Limited, battery costs have plummeted by nearly 90%, unlocking the EV revolution, powering the renewable energy boom, and shaking the balance of economic power worldwide. The story of KATL is not just about technology. It's about timing, geopolitics, innovation, and the future of global energy. But with every revolution comes consequences. So how did CATL achieve this astonishing drop in costs? And what happens now that the world depends on their batteries? The beginning of a battery giant. The year was 2011. China was on a mission to dominate the renewable energy and electric vehicle sectors. While Western automakers were still hesitant, Tesla was just a niche startup and GM's Chevy Volt was struggling. China was already pouring billions into EV research and subsidies. That's when Robin Zeng, a low-key but visionary entrepreneur, spun off KTL from a Japanese-Chinese joint venture. At first, they weren't trying to build the world's biggest battery empire. They were solving a national problem, how to power the millions of EVS China wanted on its roads without relying on foreign technology. By 2017, CATL had already outpaced Panasonic, LG Chem, and Samsung to become the world's largest EV battery supplier. Their growth wasn't luck, it was strategy. The cost revolution, how prices fell 90%. When EV batteries first appeared in commercial cars around 2010, they cost $1,200 per kilowatt hour. That meant a basic 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, like the size needed for a Tesla Model S, cost over $70,000, more than the car itself. Today, thanks in large part to KTL, the same battery costs under $100 per kilowatt hour. And CATL claims they will soon be pushing below $60. That's a 90% drop in just a decade. But how do they do it? One, scaling beyond imagination. CATL's factories are not factories in the traditional sense. They are battery cities, enormous complexes that churn out hundreds of gigawatt hours of capacity per year. By building on a scale so massive that even Tesla's gigafactory looks small, CATL pushed manufacturing costs to rock bottom levels. Two, the lithium iron phosphate breakthrough. While most Western companies focused on expensive nickel cobalt batteries, KATL perfected LFP, lithium iron phosphate. Cheaper materials, no cobalt, minimal nickel. Safer chemistry, less prone to overheating, long lasting durability. Although LFP batteries had lower energy density, CATL solved that problem with smart packaging and efficiency improvements. Suddenly, EVS, with LFP batteries became affordable for the mass market. Three, China's resource strategy. Behind KATL's rise was China's aggressive control of global mineral supply chains. From lithium mines in South America to cobalt in Africa, China invested early. While Western companies debated ethics and costs, China locked in long-term contracts. CATL could therefore build batteries at prices no one else could match. Four, relentless innovation. CATL didn't stop at LFP. They've pushed forward with sodium ion batteries even cheaper, cobalt-free, solid-state research, and ultra-fast charging packs. Their Killin battery, unveiled in 2022, delivers 1,000 kilometers of range and charges to 80% in just 10 minutes. The result? A company that makes batteries cheaper, safer, faster, and more reliable than anyone else. Impact on the EV market. Without KTL, the EV revolution would have been delayed by decades. By making batteries cheaper, they enabled Tesla's growth in China. Tesla partnered with CATL in 2020, using LFP packs in its most affordable cars. This helped slash Tesla's production costs and make the Model 3 and Model Y accessible to millions. China's EV explosion. Brands like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng 
thrived because CATL batteries made it possible to sell EVs at competitive prices. Global adoption, even European automakers like BMW, Mercedes, and Volkswagen now rely heavily on CATL for their EV ambitions. Essentially, CATL democratized the electric car, turning it from a luxury status symbol into something everyday drivers could afford, the global ripple effect. One, oil industry in panic. Every drop in battery costs pushes the world closer to EV dominance. Analysts predict that by 2030, over 60% of new cars sold in China will be electric. For oil producing nations, this is an existential threat. Two, automakers under pressure. Ford, GM, Toyota, all once giants, now find themselves dependent on CATL's supply. Some are scrambling to build their own gigafactories, but the learning curve is steep. Without CATL, their EV rollout slows, putting them at a disadvantage against Chinese rivals. Three, geopolitical tensions. The U.S. government has labeled China's battery dominance as a national security issue. Billions are now being poured into alternative suppliers, but catching up to KTL's 10-year head start may prove impossible. What happens next? The story doesn't end with cheaper batteries. Cattle is already shaping the next chapter of global energy, the sodium-ion future. Lithium is expensive and concentrated in a few countries. CATL's new sodium ion batteries replace lithium with sodium, one of the most abundant elements on Earth. While not as energy dense yet, they are. Dirt cheap to make, operable in cold weather, perfect for energy storage systems. This could cut battery prices in half again, making renewable storage on a massive scale affordable for the first time. Solid state and beyond. CATL is also racing towards solid state batteries, which promise higher energy density, zero fire risk, ultra fast charging. If they succeed, the EV market could leap forward another decade in a single year. The risks and backlash. Yet with dominance comes risk. Overdependence. If the world relies too heavily on CATL, any disruption, whether political, natural disaster, or supply chain issue, could cripple EV growth. Environmental impact, mining for battery materials still has huge ecological costs. Even CATL's efficiency doesn't erase the problem. Competition rising, Tesla, Panasonic, and even US startups like QuantumScape are racing to challenge KATL. Governments are pouring money into battery independence projects. Still, for now, CATL holds the crown. Conclusion the battery empire. Cattle's journey from a little-known Chinese spin-off to the king of global energy storage is one of the most remarkable business stories of our time. In just a decade, they drove battery prices down by 90%, unlocked the EV revolution, and reshaped the energy balance of the world. But this is only the beginning. As CATL pushes into sodium ion, solid state, and beyond, one thing is certain. The future of transportation and clean energy will be written in the factories of Ningde, China. The question now is not whether CATL will change the world. It's whether the rest of the world can keep up. Like and subscribe us.